Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by and welcome to a mild form of pandemonium. I did a test on my um, mounts to test the runoff water to see if I was getting any build up and I was quite happy that there was it was negligible, it was not worth worrying about. As long as they get their flush now and again. And today was flushing the holy clay pots time. And this is serious. Um, I'd done about probably a about 10 plants I suppose and I tested the water and it was 170 parts per million that's the near enough the level I feed at so I've got a serious build up of salts in the pot now some of that will be the clay absorbing some but um, as a consequence today they're gonna have to get a double flush so I've given them a flush which won't have worked very well apart from the ones that got the clean water first which I forgot to take note of. So what I'm going to do is flush them again. And I've just realised I haven't got enough water because I must water my mounts as well. Now the RO unit was due to come out tomorrow and refill all my containers and I had plenty of water for the day but now I haven't. <clears throat> so I'm desperately trying to get the vanders done so that I can get the bucket outside and um, get the RO unit on. Because <laughs> so I'm going to now use quite a bit of water to flush these clay pots out. Now take a leaf out of Danny's book the ideal way to do a flush is to actually dunk the pots in a large volume of clean water and leave them to soak for quite a while now that will dissolve any nutrients or salts that have built up wherever they are in the pot on the pot you know the lot um, and it will do a reasonable job and then this is followed by pouring clean water through yeah so you use the soak to uh, to sort of um, dissolve the salts into a large volume of water and then flush them with clean water to wash it out now that would be classed as a good flush but for me that's a lot of water and in addition to that I haven't got a container large enough and deep enough to get a reasonable number of plants in so I can't do that at the moment so I'm just gonna have to put up with a double flush that's the best I can do at the moment <coughs> can't do a treble one I haven't got time <laughs> or patience but um, yeah I mean the the RO the water in the Vander bucket gets put into the watering can and used to water the bonsai and some of the garden tubs outside so it doesn't get wasted and then it gets a scrub and a sterilize and then the RO unit fills it up <clears throat> and then as it's full I start emptying it into things um, I've got some five litre containers my header tank needs topping up we've had two sunny days that's down to about an inch in the bottom that needs water today so that's the first job get that filled up because um, if that runs out of water the siphon fails and then I've got to disconnect the pipe and fiddle <laughs> so I don't want to have to do that um, and I probably won't get to fill up all my containers today but I'll get a good few in there and enough to do what I need to do today and then the RO unit can go back on again tomorrow if the vanders have been done today and it looks like we're going to get a dull day they won't need doing now, they can go two or even three days it's not a big deal on a very warm sunny day I like to do them at least every other day um, and that goes for the mounts as well you know if we get consecutive dull days they can go two or three days but on warm days I do like to try and do it daily sometimes I haven't got time and they do have to go two days so that's just tough that's the way it is but yeah the holy clay pots have got some serious build up going on um, I can look at my records and work out when they were last flushed but the last time they were flushed they weren't you know because the reusing the water the runoff water is gradually building up to the point where you're not actually flushing the orchids you're actually feeding them again because the runoff water's got feed in it and it's unknown at that point logically it should be somewhere similar to the feed that went in there in the first place but it may have changed its properties um, the plants may absorb may have absorbed more of one type of element than others you know all that sort of thing going on um, <clears throat> So they haven't had a proper flush. Seriously, they haven't had a proper flush because of the build-up that I hadn't measured. Well, now that I know, I can do something about it. Um, and it may take time to get organised. So I need, I need a container that's um, at least six inches deep, 
preferably eight inches deep really and then when I put the pot in there half the bark will float off and I'll have to put it back in the pot this is going to be fiddly but the only way to do a proper flush now because um, I can't have a nice heavy rain shower to wash them off um, is to actually give them a flipping good soak in a large volume of water followed by a pouring the water through type flush then I know it's been done and quite honestly it's going to have to be done a little bit more frequently through the growing season when they're getting higher levels of feed more often you know so they've just got to get at it you know but at least now I know I can do something about it <clears throat> and while I'm here because this will get posted quite early on Sunday quick reminder live broadcast six o'clock UK time today later today so Sunday whatever the date is <laughs> I've forgotten 21st, 22nd, 23rd I think it is um, 6 o'clock UK time current UK time which I think is British summer time or British silly time as I call it BST um, yeah please join me if you get the chance uh, I know some people will be uh, in bed <laughs> etc but what I might do is do another one in a couple of weeks time sort of more like the lunchtime time in the UK which should bring other parts of the world in but probably exclude the states because they'll all be in bed you see what I mean I, can, I can't do a time in the UK that suits everybody so uh, that's the best I can do so hopefully see you later on today six o'clock and um, yeah we'll have a bit of fun to so say if you've got any questions or any individual plants you'd like me to show then you know please ask and I'll try and keep my eye on the comments flying past and not miss those sort of things but um, I'm gonna miss some of it I'm sure it goes at a fair old pace and I'll see you then and in the meantime I've now got a busy day when I didn't think I had one because the RO units got to go on when I didn't expect to I've got to water a set of plants twice instead of just once and put them back where they go and I've still got my mounts to water. They must be done today. So, uh, yeah, it's turned into a busy day. All good fun, isn't it? See you next time. Bye for now.